What is Christianity? Well, you might be surprised that the name Christian isn't a name that Christians gave themselves. Uh, it wasn't even originally uh, a name given to them by Jesus. It was a name that was given to them more in the way of mockery by the people of Antioch. Why? Because they believed that this person called Jesus was the Messiah. The, the word Christ is the Greek word for the Jewish word Messiah. And so that's what the early Christians preached and believed, that Jesus is the Messiah. So they were called Christians because they believed that Jesus, God's son, had come into this world to offer salvation to all who believed. You see, the defining concept of Christianity, and there's quite a few, that actually sets it apart from every other faith, philosophy, religion, belief system in the world, is this little word called grace. The idea that God doesn't love you because of what you do or because you deserve to be loved, but instead he loves you simply because of who he is, because he is love himself. So you know how sometimes I've heard people say, Christians, uh, they've said to their children, little children, be good so God will love you. Well, that's actually a very twisted uh, and wrong idea about what God is like. God loves us all, all the time. Um, just like parents don't stop, stop loving their children when their children misbehave. So the Christian meaning of grace is that God's acceptance, his love, his forgiveness can never, ever be earned. God freely gives it, even to the most unworthy person. And forgiveness and salvation are available to all, everyone who will accept the gift. So the term Christian encompasses all who accept the, the love and the forgiveness of God through Jesus Christ and who, who proclaim and who share the goodness of God in sending Jesus Christ into this world as, as our sacrifice for our sins. Now, Christianity started in the first third of the first century with a very small group of men and women who were very discouraged because the person they'd been following had just been executed, uh, falsely accused of being a criminal on a Roman cross. And the day that Christianity started was the day that Jesus rose from the dead. It, this is another defining characteristic of Christianity that sets apart from every other faith and religion. The idea that it is based on, the, on, on someone who rose from the dead. The idea is so ludicrous, so stupid, that as we look at the facts of Christianity and how quickly the early Christian believers multiplied it's evidence that points to the fact that the resurrection of Jesus Christ being true because I mean if I tell you that uh, someone has risen from the dead today you'd have a hard time believing it and um, but back then it was exactly the same it was ludicrous that's why we Christians were mocked the only reason why Christianity grew is because there were many eyewitnesses the Bible mentions many hundreds of them uh, who were actually who actually saw the risen Jesus Christ and they told others and the others knew that these were reliable and so Christianity grew exponentially because of eyewitness accounts of those who had known Jesus who had seen him die and who had seen him after he rose from the dead so the central belief of Christianity is that Jesus the Son of God came to this world to teach us what God is like and uh, most importantly he paid the penalty for every sin committed so that every person no matter who they are can have an opportunity to accept the salvation and the love, the forgiveness that God offers, eternal life. Jesus himself said, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him. Again, see that there's that twisted idea about Christianity that we often come to where uh, Christianity is all about loading people up with guilt, judging, you know, judgmental Christians, you know, they, they do a disservice to God because Jesus Christ did not come into the world to condemn so we mustn't either if you're a Christian, but Jesus Christ came to the world to save. But if we want to talk about what the Christian message about behaviour is, well then there is certainly something important that Christianity has to say. A lot of people define Christians in their minds by a whole list of do's and don'ts and probably a lot more don'ts than, than do's. But Jesus himself said what it is that defines a Christian and he didn't define Christians in those terms. He said to his disciples, by this will everyone know that you are my disciples, if you have love one for another. There's that idea of love again. It's so central to what Christianity is about.
Now, the book of Romans is very important for understanding the Christian message because uh, Paul explains it very clearly, powerfully and eloquently how Jesus Christ uh, came and uh, he represented us. He was our substitute and he paid the penalty of all of our faults, failures, weaknesses and sins. He took your place. And so because he took what is yours, then now he gives you what is his eternal life because when we accept Jesus Christ, we have a perfect right standing with God. There is nothing more that we need to do for God to accept us and, and, and so that he will love us more. He can't. And you see, once that has happened, once we have accepted the perfect gift of Jesus Christ on our behalf, then the Apostle Paul in Romans also explains about how God sends his Holy Spirit into our, our lives to transform our lives, to help us live the way that he wants us to live. So remember, both are important, but don't put the cart before the horse. First of all, be right with God. It's a free gift. And when you're right with God, the rest is going to follow. So what does the power of Christianity rest on? Well, it rests on the resurrection of Jesus Christ, certainly. But if you look at what it has to say about God, it rests on the love, the forgiveness that God offers us through his grace. And through the person of Jesus Christ, that's the foundation of Christianity.